Hi. It's most excellent to see you again, Graham Grundy. The pleasure is all mine. How can I be of assistance today? Do you know where I'd find E-1594? I do not recognize E-1594. I think it's an obsolete city location code. I see. Would you like to sign up for a course in the history of Union City's geographical referencing? Uh, thanks, but I don't have the time for that. Shame. I hear it's enthralling. Where can I find out about E-1594? Have you tried an old map? Do you have one? Of course not. I do not care for legacy data. I'm part of the new, shinier Union City. Thank you. Until the next time. Hey, got a minute? For you, sir? I have all day. How can I get my hands on one of these brooches? You didn't receive one in the post? I don't think so. That's because aspiration brooches are only delivered to social climbers. You need an awful lot more kudos to be in with a shop. Maybe next month, eh? Sure. Or year, perhaps. Does E1594 mean anything to you? Literally nothing. Should it? It's an obsolete location reference. I'm trying to find the building it refers to. Unfortunately, I am not programmed to understand or translate obsolete infrastructure references. I'll see you later. I can't wait. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. Leet was my only lead to discovering Graham's connection to the stalker, and the obsolete map reference E1594 was the only lead I had to finding Leet. As I surveyed the room, I was greeted by a familiar face. Hello, darling! If you're one of our lucky aspiration brooch holders, be sure to check out the old history exhibit. It was a hologram of Danielle Piermont, a friend from when I last came to Union City. The centerpiece of the whole museum was a synthetic arm. I recognized it. It was Joey's. He'd lost it in our fight against Link all those years ago. <gasps> look, 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 over here. Dad, do you have to be so loud? The arm! Isn't it amazing? Seemed like I wasn't the Cecily, only one interested in the Joey didn't arm. Didn't I promise? Didn't I say I'd bring you here? You did, Dad. I'm so stoked. This is Joey's arm! This was once attached to the really real Joey! Savior of Union City! <sighs> Aren't you feeling blessed to be here? Of course I am, Dad, but... Then tell the world! How awesome is this place, huh? It's awesome. It's what? This place is awesome. Say it again! I said, it's awesome. Yes, now you've got it. I'm just gonna 
Have a look around. Seriously? It's Joey's arm! Why would you want to look at anything else? Alert. Trajectory obstructed. Union City wishes all... The droid was going around in a circle, repeating the same inane message. Hello there. Good day, friend. Are you here to walk with Joey? I've walked with Joey before. He had treads at the time. Yes. When you tread with Joey, you become one with happiness. How do you walk with an arm? You don't walk, walk with him. You walk with him in here. I think you're probably walking with him up there. Oh, the mind's always on Joey, that's for sure. You kind of worship Joey, huh? Is that why you're here? Well, I mean, yes, but not just that. I'm looking for a sign. A sign? From who? Joey, of course. When a man reaches our age... Our age? He starts to look for... guidance. And what better thing to point me in the right direction than the arm of Joey himself? Joey's actual arm? Quite something, huh? Yes. The original arm that wrenched the city from the precipice of damnation. Didn't it just get stuck to a hand scanner? This very arm wielded a weapon so great it tore down a tyranny. This very arm wielded a weapon so great it toppled the heads of government. Forged a plowshare and rebuilt the city from the ground up. With this arm, he plucked the eyes from the Hydra of Link and gave them to the people so we all might see. All that by himself? Yes! Yes, all by himself! The whole story can be found on the stations around the hall. What sort of sign are you looking for? At this point, anything. I've been such a devoted citizen, putting Joey first above everything. My job, my wife and daughter, all second to Joey, just as he would have wanted. But now, I worry I'm straying off the path. Ever thought about a counselor? But who would deliver better counsel than the savior himself? Say, I'm looking for a specific location. An obsolete area code E1594. Is there a map around here somewhere? A map around here? I don't think so. Unless you mean the map in the old history exhibit. Well, that counts. Well, in that case, you're in luck. There is one in the old history exhibit. How it was before the Joey era. It's like staring into oblivion. But of course, without a brooch, they won't let you in. I better go and admire something. Keep a smile on your face. Aspiration brooch required to access this exhibit room. An aspiration brooch? That must have been what those two visitors by the Joey arm... An aspiration brooch? That must have been what those two visitors by the Joey arm were wearing. Alert. Trajectory obstructed. Union City wishes all citizens a happy aspiration day. Excuse me. Oh. Hey. Wow. You look... different. What do you mean? Your outfit. It's so... Iconic? I was just gonna say weird. If mine's weird, what color is yours supposed to be? Duh. It's perinickel margarine. It's like... Tuesday's happiest color. Where are you even from? You'd never believe me. This museum visit just got way more interesting. I like your brooch. This? You mean you've never seen one of these? You must be from the Gap or something. Me? No. Good one. It's an aspiration brooch. The Council awards them to people who max out their kudos each month. Social climbers, they're known as. You must be an incredible person. What, me? No, it's my dad who earned the kudos, obviously. Talk to him if you want to know who to impress. Then, how did you get yours? Oh, Dad got a second one. Bring a friend or something. So they're transferable? 
technically, yes. Does this social climber status do anything for you? Absolutely. First, everybody who sees you can tell that you've been a model citizen all month. Very inspirational, I'm sure. Actually, it's kind of embarrassing. Everyone just stares at you all day. It's not like you even get anything good from it. Not really. Then what's the point? I guess if you really care, you get to go look around the special exhibits over in the old history room. Dad gets so excited by that sort of stuff. Can't stop staring at the old map. Hey, listen, I know we just met, but I really was hoping to get one of those brooches. Need to check out the old history exhibit. Let me guess. You were hoping I'd give you mine. That's right. No offense, but you don't seem as... evangelical as most Joey freaks. What's back there that's so important to you? Do you ever feel like you're not being given the whole truth about the city? You mean, how perfect everything is? Yeah. Sometimes it does seem a bit... Ridiculous? Yeah, I mean, who'd fall for this Savior Joey nonsense? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I don't think my dad would like me talking to you. I'd better go back to the self-improvement and the learning. It's really important that I get that brooch. So you keep saying. But you don't seem like the reverent type. What do you really think of this place? If I were a cynic, I might call some of it a little unbelievable. Don't say that around my dad. He really buys into all this stuff. Hey, listen, you and me, we're on the same wavelength here. And it's a different wavelength than my father. He does seem very devout. Right? And honestly, just staring at an old arm gets dull. You can just walk out, but I'm stuck here. And you can just go into the back while I can't. I'll make a deal with you. You give my dad a reason to leave, and I'll give you this dumb thing. You in? Okay, I'm in. That brooch in exchange for your freedom. Finally. Praise Joey. Praise? Yes, praise Joey. The girl had agreed to give me her aspiration brooch if I could somehow get her father to leave the museum. The guy was looking for a sign from the Joey arm. I wondered if I could help. Savior Joey leashed the oppressor Link to serve and protect the people. Union City wishes all... Here begins the story of Joey. Ten years ago, evil gripped our beloved city. The people suffered under the tyranny of the oppressor Link. Their voices cried out for help. From deep in the gap, Savior Joey heard their pleas and came to free us all. Trajectory obstructed. The struggle against Link was long and fierce, and there was great suffering. Only through great sacrifice did the Savior defeat oppressor Link and declare the city free. But his work had only just begun. Triumphant, he rose from the depths to guide us to a glorious future. Alert. Trajectory obstructed. Savior Joey leashed the oppressor Link to serve and protect the people and founded the Council to restore the rule of democracy. Then, his work complete, he departed the city to spread his wisdom to the savage peoples of the world. In the Savior's name, the Council formed the Five Ministries that continue to guide Union City in this new golden era. Aspiration, safety, comfort, consumption, well-being. The glorious pillars of the city, 
ever vigilant in the protection of your happiness. Union City is now the envy of the civilized world, but this is only the beginning. From our new partnership with Asio City to the ongoing enrichment of the Gap, Savior Joey's teachings continue to guide us. Join the celebrations this Aspiration Day to show your gratitude and dare to dream what you might become. We invite you to salute the people of Asio City, our faraway friends and valued members of the Union Group. Unstinting and determined cooperation has allowed both cities to grow to become the richest cities in the world. We stand together, refuting the fake news spread by Hobart in their attempt to undermine our unity. Join us in celebrating our commonwealth of kindred spirits, united by bonds of friendship. Greetings, citizen. We are the Council, your democratically elected representatives. Five years ago, Savior Joey decreed that we take charge of our own destiny and prove ourselves worthy of the freedom that he brought. The Council proudly serves to uphold his legacy for the benefit of all citizens of the greatest city in the world. I am the Minister for Safety. I preserve the peace to keep you safe, to make you happy. I am the Minister for Comfort. I ensure the city is clean and all amenities work for your comfort, to make you happy. I am the Minister of Plenty. I ensure that you want for nothing, at your kudos level of course, to make you happy. I am the Minister for Wellbeing. I nourish your mental health, to make you happy. I am the Minister of Aspiration. I help you set and achieve the very highest personal goals to make you happy. Farewell, citizen. May all your days be happy. Oh, Who saved us from starving and sadness and hate? Savior Joey! Put clothes on our backs and food on our Fluids. You need them. We all do. But water isn't only scarce. It's dull. What's a good citizen to do? That's why famed Ministry of Plenty cranio hydrologist Mr. Spankles created... Spankles! Spankles is far more than just your recommended daily dose of vital fluids. Every can is bursting with micro-pleasurants to boost your mood and your aspirations. Doctors agree, just two cans a day are all you need to work and play. Spankles! Put a little fizz into your soul. After bringing an end to the tyranny of the oppressor Link, Joey created Minos to ensure that, forthwith, technology would always serve rather than enslave the citizens. Minos is devoted to ensuring your happiness. Always there for you. Minos is available for you on any terminal. It knows you. It understands you. It helps you become everything you aspire to be. Minos, built by machines, inspired by humans. us from starving and sadness and hate. Savior Joey! 
Put clothes on our backs and food on our plates. City, our faraway friends and valued members of the Union Group. Union City wishes all citizens a happy aspiration day. Wishes all citizens a happy aspiration day. Wishes all citizens a happy aspiration day. You need them. We all do. But water isn't only scarce, it's dull. What's a good citizen to do? That's why Fame Ministry of Plenty Cranio Hydrologist Mr. Spankles created... Spankles! Spankles is far more than just your recommended daily dose of vital fluids. Every can is bursting with microblizzards to boost your mood and your aspirations. Doctors agree. Just two cans a day are all you need to work and play. Spankles! Put a little fizz into your soul! that I did to maximize my kudos. Why have you forsaken me? I worked so hard. I did every... That's okay, Dad. It's all all right. But Cecily, I just don't understand. 
Come on now, Dad. Let's go get you a nice can of Spankles at the cafe. Yes. Yes, I think that'll do the trick. I think it's time I tried that new flavor. I very much enjoyed our talk today, mystery man. It's been... eye-opening. I'm glad we could reach an arrangement, miss. Featherbottom. Cecily Featherbottom. Best aspiration day ever. Here you go. A deal's a deal. Until we meet again, may the light and wisdom of Savior Joey smile upon you. Happy aspiration day. City wishes all citizens a happy aspiration day. Welcome to the old history exhibit, young lady. The information droid will be with you shortly. Spunky, lifelong friend and companion of our benefactor, Danielle Piermont. Spunky was a friend to all low-life citizens and a true symbol of Union City spirit until he was found drowned in a pond at the tender age of seven. Through this exhibit, may his bark be with us always. Many years ago, Spunky had helped me in my quest to defeat Link. I was glad to see that he had gotten the respect he deserved. Excuse me. Oi! Keep the noise down. Oh, sorry. A little respect while you're in this hallowed place. Right. And you're a guard here? Name's Payne. Roy Allen Payne. Ex-security officer, 30 years on the force. And I've got my eyes on you. I heard that you have an old map of the city in here. Did you now? And what precisely did you hear? That it shows Union City as it was ten years ago. See, I have an obsolete area code, E1594, and I need to see where it is. Hmm, I see. Well, the map table is just over in the center of the room. But a specific area code, that'd be like finding a needle in a haystack. Good luck, son. What exactly is this exhibit? What is the exhibit, he asks. Joey, give me strength. This is the old history exhibit. The definitive collection of Union City artifacts. Courtesy of our illustrious benefactor, Mrs. Piermont herself. It just looks like a load of old junk from the old regime. Junk? No. Old regime? Yes. In the days before our savior took control. Are you the only person working here? The only person? Yes. Not thinking of trying something funny, are we, son? Absolutely not. Jolly good. Because I don't think funny is funny. I don't doubt it. And the robots that work for me, they don't like funny either. They work for you? Well, not for me. Technically, I suppose they're my co-workers. See you later. Enjoy the exhibits. Quietly. It was an old fridge. There were strange noises coming from it, as if something was trapped inside. Slight recollection? This city synth garbage would never compete with the stuff back in the Gap. These models were far too clean cut to be Gaplanders. They'd done a good job with the goat, though. Union City still had some pretty backward views on the Gap. An old barrel transporter robot. Those robots always gave me the creeps. Ten years ago, I'd used the old underground system to reach the heart of Link.
I'd had a run-in with this tech all those years ago. I hoped Union City had gone in a more sustainable direction. The old link terminal had long since stopped working. The Joey Speaks looked like a gimmick, but I couldn't pass the opportunity to hear my old buddy's voice again. The wiring to the hand scanner had been ripped out. It was never going to work. The information droid will be with you shortly. These humble scraps of primitive circuitry housed the spark that would become our beloved savior, Joey. Many disciples of the savior hold this board up as an example of immaculate assembly with rather less than immaculate soldiering. Notice, this attraction is currently closed after complaints of language of a most unsavior-like nature. glad to see let's talk more crowbar foster or whatever other great idea you have for getting me out of here is that joey joey i'm so sorry i had no idea what they'd done to you yeah yeah save your apologies for after you've got me out of this everybody it's an aspiration day miracle joey's speaking to us no that's not joey no way joey it's really you Oh, great. Here we go again. Joey. The gruesome tendrils pulsed ominously. The product of Link. An experimental fusion of man with computer that had ended in tyranny. giant holographic map of Union City as it was 10 years ago. If I could get the map to display area E1594, I would find the building where I suspected Graham had met with Leet. A metal panel was bolted onto the side of the table. The information droid will be with you shortly. Stop this noise at once. Vermin prompted lockdown. I had to find a way out without being detected, but not before figuring out where this leak guy was hiding out. Not to mention rescuing Joey. Not 
I got you, buddy. I built the circuit board when I was just a kid, and now I had it back. But it was more than just a board. My old pal Joey was on it. The old vacuum robot looked familiar. Only unplugged for a moment. Everything I ever loved is dead. Oh, hey, Foster. You're here too, huh? <sighs> Welcome back, Joey. Is this the best shell you could find? It was just collecting dust. You've turned me into a vacuum cleaner, Foster. Again! It's functional. Don't be ungrateful. And look, someone gave you a cool beanie. Don't patronize me, Foster. We'll find you a better shell soon, I promise. Good, because this one sucks. And not even efficiently. Listen, we're in deep trouble. There's something new. Care to bring me up to speed? I came here looking for a missing child, Milo. He was kidnapped from my village. Oh no, Rob, that's terrible. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Don't look at me. I've been trapped in that glass prison for years. If anyone asks, my name is Graham Grundy. You come up with that yourself? No. I needed an ID to get inside the city. I got this one from a dead body. Jeez, Foster. Was it dead when you found it? Don't worry, Joey. My conscience is clear. I learned about somebody called Leet here in the city. I think he's somehow connected to the kidnapping. And we're gonna go find him? That's right. I came here to find out where he hides out. And to rescue me? Come on, Joey. That goes without saying. What are the capabilities of your current shell? It's a vacuum bot, Foster. It sucks and it blows. End of. Don't all these old vacuums have an interface probe? I was really hoping you'd forgotten that part. Don't be ashamed. It might come in handy. I'm not ashamed. It's just cold in here. That's everything. Great to have you back, Joey. The Gap Chaps are back! We were never called that. Best friends. That'll do, Joey. That'll do. The robot had retreated from the chaos and was peacefully recharging. Tucked between the old work manuals was the occasional picture of dubious morality. None of it looked to be much use. An old monitor displayed the maintenance test results for the barrel transporter robot. The text referenced the robot's e-manual. covering the table's interface port. Hey, Joey. Got a job for you. What is it? Remember that leak guy I mentioned? I never forget a thing. Well, I've tracked him to an area code, E1594. Thing is, that code is part of the old system. It's obsolete. Cut to it, Foster. This old map shows the city as it was 10 years ago. The old system. If I can find E1594 on here, it would show me where to find Leet. Have you seen the size of this thing? That will take you hours. Exactly. I need you to plug yourself in. I bet you'll find the location in no time. <sighs> Give me a moment.
here, Foster. E-1594. Joey, you're a genius. There, that's the building I'm looking for. It's on the industrial level. Home Crescent Recycling Center. This is where your guy, Lee, is? I can't be sure, but it's the best lead I've got. Okay, Foster. What's the plan now? We need to get to that recycling center. But first, we need to break out of here without being seen. Break out. Find lead. Got it. The doors were on lockdown. I wondered whether Joey could help me break out. An old barrel transporter robot. The droid had an old interface port at the base. Hey, Joey, can you talk to the transporter robot? What do you mean, talk? I already said... You probe, Joey. Probe the robot. Go probe yourself, Foster. If you could give the transporter just enough juice... Please, let's not call it juice. Whatever. Just see if you can get it started. Okay, but would you mind looking the other way? Of course. You almost done? Don't look! Sorry. It's, uh, not doing anything. You don't say, Foster. It's been wiped clean. Decommissioned. Murdered. We need to give it new protocols. Do you think you could do that? Of course I could. I just... need to know how the system works first. I'll have another look around. Union City is smaller than I thought. What's the scale on this thing? A section of the expanded map showed the tracked location of Songbird's toy, Bilby. Home Crescent Recycling Center. In the industrial level. The terminal was displaying a maintenance report for the barrel transportation robot. I'd need to find a better way to display the information if Joey was to make any sense of it. Look, Joey. A work report for that barrel robot. And it comes with a maintenance e-manual. How fascinating. Do you think this would help you reprogram that old thing? Well, sure. If you can find a way for me to read it, that terminal clearly wasn't built for vacuum bots. So look, Joey. I hope you're not wasting my time, Foster. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Ah, this is exactly what I need to reprogram that barrel robot. You're welcome, by the way. For what? I'm the one who found them in the first place. Yeah, but can you read them? You're welcome. Go reprogram the robot, please. you wanted to do. Let's get out of here. We need somewhere hidden outside this room. Toilets? Toilets. Try and aim for the men's room, Joey. Whatever. And that's done. Let's never speak of this again. So what now? Well, are you ready to go? Ready. Then climb aboard and let's go!
barrel was just large enough to squeeze into. It was a snug fit, it smelled bad, and I felt stupid. to escape unseen. Warning citizen, warning citizen, warning citizen. Don't make me clean up in there, Foster. Humans are so organic. Mr. Grundy? Mr. Grundy? It is Mr. Grundy, isn't it? Uh, of course, Mentor Alonzo. Who else would I be? Well, quite, Mr. Grundy. Who indeed, hmm? What brings you down to the Museum of New History today? Oh, I love it here. I come down to the museum any chance I get. How strange. Your file states that you haven't visited in over a year. As I said, I visit whenever I can. I've been very busy with work. My job with the Ministry of Comfort, which I find very rewarding, of course. <laughs> Don't we all? Tell me, have you had the chance to check out the Joey exhibit in the back? No, I don't have enough kudos, sadly. Of course, of course. But at least you and your charming wife can now spend more quality time together to ensure a full recovery. Don't worry, I'm almost positive we'll have everything cleared up in no time. Hmm? That's going to be the dream, Mentor. Indeed. And dreams are something nobody can take away from us, aren't they? I like to think so. Well, quite. Anyway, a pleasure as ever, Mr. Grundy. Have a pleasant aspiration day, Mentor. Alonzo. And yourself. Keep a smile on your face. Always. Just one more thing, Mr. Grundy. Yes, Mentor? I am surprised to see you wearing an aspiration brooch. By the power of Joey, I am now a social climber. So it would seem. So it would seem. Alonzo was definitely on to me. I'd have to watch my step around him. Aspiration brooch holders, be sure to check out the old history exhibit. Remember hey, I know that lady. What's shaking, Miss Piermont? Oh, your hologram. Sorry about your dog. Look, Foster, Mrs. Piermont. But we can call her Danielle. Time for the gun show! Alert. Trajectory obstructed. Nice guy. Friend of yours? Not yet, and I'm not holding any hopes. You know I'm pretending to be someone called Graham. Sure. Well, that guy is investigating Graham. So he's investigating you, too? You got it. Aren't you worried someone will recognize us from the escape? Come on, it's not like we're still rolling around in that barrel, robot. No, but... It'll be fine. Humans forget stuff all the time. Like how you forgot your best friend. How long are you going to hold that over my head? We've got ten years of material to get through, Foster. Buckle in. 
That's all for now, Joey. Remember, all of this month's social climate. You think there's anything useful in this museum? It's a museum. Nothing here but obsolete, worthless old junk. You were in here for years. Yeah, back when the place had value. Anything in this old museum that might help me find Milo? Um, there's the Spankles exhibit. How is that helpful? Kids like Spankles. Huh. Looks like they shut down the old history exhibit. Well, duh. They lost the main attraction. I've been thinking about putting it back. Don't you dare. Maybe they'll give me a reward. Stop. That's all for now, Joey. Graham had taken the track Bilby to the Home Crescent Recycling Center. I was sure this is where I'd find Leet.